So you want to reduce spam and enhance the privacy and security of your emails. You should probably get an email alias. What's an email alias? An email alias is just a mask for your email address that you use to sign up for things. That mask then gets your emails and forwards it directly to your personal email without it being known by the sites that you signed up with. Think of it like letters being sent to a PO box instead of your home address. You can close or change the PO box, but it doesn't really affect your actual address. The same thing happens with the email alias. If it gets targeted by a hack or a scam, it won't actually touch your real email inbox. Box. If you want to use them in the best way, I'd recommend creating one for each category like newsletters, social media, work, school, etc. There are a lot of ways you can create an email alias and today I'm going to be showing you how to do it with a website called Simple Login. It's free, it's simple, and you can also set up your own domain. Without further ado, let's get started. All right, so the first things first, you want to go over to simplelogin.io. Once you get here, you want to click on get your alias for free. Once you're there, you're prompted to create a new account. Once you do that, you'll be prompted to be in this page right here. Now. You can automatically create new aliases for the free plan. You can only create up to 10 with only one mailbox. So if, in order to do that, you just click on create new custom alias, type in whatever you want, like example, and, and you can use one of the premium or public domains that it has available right here. And you can give yourself a note, like example, and this is gonna be the mailbox that it'll be forwarded to. So once you do that, hit create, and it's created. Now, anything that you sign up, you can use this email and it'll be forwarded to whatever email that you put for the mailbox. You can then add another mailbox if you want. A mailbox is another personal email address, as it says right here. Um, when I signed up, I created and used this mailbox and you can create a new one with another email that you would like for it to be forwarded to. And you can also set up a domain. So with the domain here, you can just type in my.com, hit create. And then once you're here, you're going to have to verify the ownership by adding the TXT record to whatever your domain registrar, like name, sheep, cloud fair, et cetera. And you're going to have to copy and paste this onto wherever you have and change those settings. They have a document where it goes over exactly what you need to do step by step. It's pretty simple to follow. I will then show you exactly what it looks like when it is verified. So once you do have a domain that's verified, like mine right here, you can then go over to aliases, create a new custom alias and then type in anything that you want, like info, and then add your domain name right here, or any of these aliases that you want to use. Select the mailbox that you want it to be forwarded to, then click on create. I already have this created, so I'm not going to do that. And you can also add subdomains to your actual root domain that you have here. So if you want to put in information.simplelogin.com, you can actually create that and use this as, this, as the root domain but this is only included with the premium plan. With the free plan, I don't believe you can do all of this, but the pay plan is pretty cheap. So you just have to go through this and you'll be able to create a subdomain for your root domain here. And that's pretty much it. Well, if you have any questions, leave it down in the comments down below. And if you found this helpful, you can subscribe to my email list where I give uh, privacy tips like this all the time. And that's pretty much it for this video. See you guys later.